So hi all, this is IK0YGJ. Today I'll show you two very interesting new instruments. The first one is the CW machine by Piero Begali. The other one is the Begali Intrepid. Let's start with the Begali Intrepid. This is a bug. These two small weights are used to change the speed. This is the lower setting. And this is somewhat faster, but it is not the fastest. If you then push all the weights towards the pivot, you will be having even faster. It has eight independent adjustments. Let's start with the left side. The first adjustment is the dot contact with internal spring. There is an internal spring here, concentric spring. When the arm touches this contact, the spring gives back some energy to make it vibrate correctly. The second adjustment, the swan, is the dot magnet. When you make the dots with this control, you can adjust how much force the bug gives you back, how much it does resist to your manipulation when you do the dots. The third contact, the swan, it is the dot excursion adjustment. The fourth one lets you control how much force it is applied back to this arm to pull it back towards the contacts. So this is actually a magnet. It is used to finally adjust the spacing among dots. You can really trim with highly precision the spacing among dots. Okay, let's see now the right side. The first one is the armrest position adjustment. With this one you control where the lower arm rests when no manipulation is done. The second one is the dash contact. Here you make the dashes when you press in the dash direction this contact close. And the third one is the dash magnet. It, it controls how much the bug resists toward the manipulation of the dashes. Well, now we are ready to make an adjustment of the Intrepid bug. Okay, all the adjustments are loose. Now let's strengthen a little bit the dot adjustment. Now I strengthen a little bit until I get a consistent timing of the dot, of the dot mark toward the dot space. Let's, let's hear it. Okay, too short. You see, now it makes very, very few dots. So you have to loosen a little bit until it does a number of dots that is enough to make all the letters. Let's say five or six dots. Okay. Okay, very good. The combination among the two gives me the correct mark space ratio. If you want to trim it more, you simply adjust this magnet by fastening or loosening. If you fasten it, more force will be applied. You have to trim it a little bit until you have exact mark space ratio that you want to achieve. Okay, well, now the adjustment is done. Well, now move on on the CW machine. Well, this is actually not only a keyer. The best definition I've found is of a software-defined keying device, because it has a keyer, of course, iambic, not iambic, stride key, all the function of a typical sophisticated keyer with memories. It is also a keyboard keyer. It is a monitoring device a logging tool and can be also a, a um, powerful learning tool because there is a software that uh, turns it into a lesson generator. So this is the CW machine software that runs on the PC. You have to install it. This is the software screen where you uh, check how to connect the machine, you can, um, you can change the firmware, you can set the new firmware and download it directly via internet. Now let's move on on the configuration screen. 
here you can adjust all the things that you need to configure the gear for your uh, key I set it to hand also here I will not enter into all the detail but you have Yambic B, Yambic A, bug emulation, hand key and so many other modes I'll be playing a CQ with a Begal Intrepid bug and see how the CW machine decodes it Okay, now I'll be playing the same CQ using the memory key here and see the difference and hear the difference among the two. Okay, now we'll be making an experiment. I want to show you how much is tight difference among a properly adjusted bug and the sound emitted by a keyer. We'll be pretending we are ending a QSO. I am closing the QSO with IK0AAA. I will be saying something with the bug. I will be starting the message, the pre-programmed message with the CW machine, interrupted with the bug and give back the control to the CW machine. I want to show you the difference among the sounds. It's really, it's really uh, tight. Let's go on. IK0AAA day IK0YGJ and then I will be break and say something. Thanks for and so on. and then give back the contract. And so on. You are able to monitor yourself, so you can really see if you properly adjusted or not your bug. This is very useful if you are a beginner or if you want to improve your CW. So long for now, thank you very much for your uh, attention, this is IKL0YGJ, bye bye.